Hey guys, this is Grishard from twitch.tv slash Grishard bringing you some knowledge base information. Let's get to it! First, we need to go ahead and grab your FTP info. If you're not using Acklays or you already know how to do this, go ahead and skip to the next section. So, go ahead and log into your command center. It'll look something like this. Find the server that you want to open and get the info for. Click Manage on the right hand side. Then, at the very top, click Show FTP Info. That's all you got to do. You want to copy your whole username, the whole host name, and then you're going to need your password. If you don't remember what it is, go ahead and click on change on the right hand side there and it'll open up a screen at the bottom of which you can change your password. Remember, it must be different from your command center password. This is just a quick little section on how to add a site to FileZilla. If you already know how to do that, go ahead and skip to the next section. First thing you're going to want to do when FileZilla opens up is in the top left hand corner, go ahead and click on that icon. It'll bring up this screen. This is where you can see a list of any servers you already have added. You can add, edit, remove, etc. from here. Go ahead and click on new site. Rename your site to something meaningful so it's not mixed in on all the other sites. It's just like site 1, site 2, site 3. Then in the top right hand corner, go ahead and put in your host. If you're not using Eclis, your port number your username, and your password. If you're using Aklas, you don't need to worry about port because your username has that included. So make sure you include those numbers at the end. If you want some place to store your password, go ahead and store it down there. It's not a big deal, it's stored locally, nobody can get to it, that's where I keep mine, just so I can add sites later easier if I don't remember what my password is. Go ahead and click OK. Now, to quick connect, at the very top left hand corner, go ahead and click on the drop down next to that icon, and your sites will be listed here, and you can just click connect and go ahead and connect to whatever you're trying to connect to. Now that we're logged into the FTP server, we're going to go ahead and get to that file and change it. When you first log in, it's going to look something like this. It's going to have a whole bunch of extra windows and stuff. We're only going to focus on this window, though, because it's the only one we need for this. So, go ahead and open up your root folder and it'll have a bunch of stuff in here. One of them will be Shooter Game. Go ahead and open that. Now this part is very, very important. Make sure you click on Saved here and open up the saved one, not the other one. Now you're gonna wanna open up your config folder. When you get here, it might say Windows Server. That's totally fine. You can run servers on Windows as well, but we're on a Linux server, so we're gonna go ahead and click on Linux Server and it'll open up this folder. Now, you're going to want to right-click on GameUserSettings.ini, go down to View Edit, and then you're going to open it and make whatever changes you want. I don't know specifically what you're after, so I can't walk you through it. Now, before you close it, go ahead and click Save As. Go to File, Save As, up in the top left-hand corner, and save it on your computer somewhere, because sometimes... Arc gets a little cranky with config folders, and it might delete it. So I would hate for you to, like me, have to spend an hour or two editing all this, looking up what everything does, and then upload it to have maybe a period in the wrong spot and it delete it. So make sure you save it locally so you can come back to it later. Thank you so much for watching. If it was helpful, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Here's a couple more videos that you might find interesting. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Have a good day. Bye.